can't, I can't even see. I can't even see right now. Like, how do you fight these? This is going to be ridiculous. I'm going to die so much. Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to another mod showcase on the channel. As promised today, I am bringing you the next latest update to the Ice and Fire mod. And that is the Dreadlands. Or well, the dungeon leading to it anyway. So today we are going to be going over everything within this and everything we need to know about the new Dread Beasts as in the new Dread Mobs, or all, all that category. Uh, the Dread Queen, I'll be giving you a bit of an overview on her, and we'll be taking a look inside this dungeon and how to access this dungeon. So, it's gonna be a pretty good one, guys, so make sure to stick around for that, because you, you know you want, you want to see all this. And uh, if you are new to the channel, guys, make sure to like and subscribe on today's video. Hit that notification bell as well, so you don't miss out on any content. So, let's start cracking on with it. So, let's uh, take a look around at this place at first. So, this is the general size of it. Not too massive, but it is pretty cool. And I found an absolute sick location for one as well, right next to a little ice village. So, what is this? This is the Dread M Mausoleum, if I can even pronounce it correctly. So, it's the Dread Mausoleum, and this is where you will have to come to to access the new Dreadlands Forest, the new dimension. It's a dimension of perpetual darkness, and it is, as I said, only accessible through a portal found in this mausoleum it will and then um, the within the portal within this dark new black forest dimension portal will hold the dread queen she is a nasty piece of work guys and will be the most powerful mob to come out of this mod so far she will have her own half dead dragon think of game of thrones think of that sort of dragon sort of thing that's what i feel like this is based on at the moment the dread queen i feel like she's based on the White Walkers from Game of Thrones with their army because not only is that dangerous enough that she is riding her own dragon guys she has an onslaught of mobs that follow her around as well and she can sense and she can sense you out from 120 block radius apparently according to the wiki so the mobs that will be following her around are the liches the thralls ghouls beasts scuttlers and dread knights now we will be taking a look at those guys in a bit but let's get into how to access this place so the only way in is through this door this stuff is essentially bedrock think of it like that guys it is unbreakable apparently is what what it says on the wiki uh and, and yeah yeah it's just unbreakable you can't get through it guys you only way through is the door which is only accessible by a key Hence the keyhole. But yeah, the key needed for that is the Grave Master's key. And this is classed as a rare drop and it is only dropped by the liches. And you can find them wandering around the outside world. We did have one round here earlier. He seems to have run off. I uh, don't know, don't really know where he's, he's gone to. But let's get one out so I can show you what he's like. So here we go. And he also has a nice little staff that he will drop as well okay oh i'm so sorry mr villager but you're gonna have this guy following you around so this lich you will find as i said roaming around these areas they have glowing blue eyes and they have these icy staffs with skulls on top of them as you can see there and what he does is he will spawn in mobs to fight for him and he will also turn other mobs like that poor villager into mobs to serve him like the ghouls and these skeletons here so these skeletons are actually called thralls they are yeah essentially the zombie level sort of thing you got these thralls as well um you've got these ghouls as well over here these are zombie like creatures uh, they have long pants on. Where did he go? He's run off. Uh, he's, they're, they're killing everything within this little village. Yeah, they have long pants on, so they're nicely covered. And they have these chomping great big mouths. So they're trying to get into here, apparently. Ah, oh, stuff it. will let him. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, so there you go. You get a nice look at them 
here. Standard, standard, pretty much mob health. Was he got 30 HP, so a little bit more. The uh, Lich, I think, has 40, if I'm remembering right off the top of my head. He's a bit fast to uh, follow around. Look how awesome they look. Also, another one is this, the Dread Beast. Um, this is a very small version. They get a lot bigger. A lot, lot bigger. Okay, so the Lich has 50 HP. Skeletons or the Thralls have the 20 HP. So less, uh, well, less strong. Just generally just like that. They also can spawn in uh, something called Scuttlers. And these are pretty much undead spiders. But they are based off the Mimrix uh, shape. So, if you've seen the memories from this mod, you know what they are. I'll get one out though. Don't you worry. Uh, let's see if I can spell it right. How's it spelled for this? There we go. So, we'll get one of these boys out. And these are all going to be found in. Wow, that's a big one. We spawned in a hefty one. 40 HP, that dude. Nice. It's like the size of a flipping building. I swear that's like the largest one I've come across. Damn. So, those are the mobs, guys. The only last one is the Dread Knight, but he will be in the mausoleum over here. So, to get that key, kill the Lich. But it's a very, very hard drop, guys. It's very rare. It's not often. So, you've got to go around and you fight them. But you've got to be very prepped to fight this guy. As you just saw, he will spawn in mobs to fight for him. The more threatened or the more damaged he is, the more mobs he will spawn. Perfect. So, I'm glad we are all on the same page. I'm just going to get out a, a night vision potion because I imagine it's going to... Well, no, it is dark in here. So, there we go. We're going to change on game mode as well because we're going to do this uh, proper. We're going to do it proper-like. Okay, so let's get out our Grave Master Key because totally we already got one. And to get the, to this sort of stage in the game, you're going to have some mad gear. Well, you have to have some mad gear by this point. So, we've got the Iced Dragon Bone Sword. We've got the Ice Dragon Steel Axe. Um, we've got some Tide Arrows. We've got some General Stake. We've got the Hydra Heart. And obviously our Night Vision. And then we've got some Ice Dragon Steel Armor up here. So I've gone for the Ice Outfit today. So that was my idea. Alright, let's get to it. Boom. Oh, and good. We are, we are straight off the bat with a Dread Knight. As I said, these guys will come at you. And as you can tell, they're not afraid of the daylight not like your general mob flipping heck look can we just appreciate how flipping strong these guys are because my flipping word they are strong and we are going to need some mad stuff to get through here okay so let's have some whoa bro 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 bro, bro, bro. okay so we've had that let's do it boom oh my word this they're, they're just ridiculous so we've got to go in here and we've got to actually take out the spawner uh, Alright, so there's a spawner down here. So these lights are so, so very dim uh, if you don't have your night vision. So it is highly recommended you get some night vision going, guys. Come on, please break. For love of goodness, please break. Uh, pff, come on, I beg you. Oh my goodness, Dread Beast. We've got a big Dread Beast up in here now. Okay, so what else we've got around here? Let's take a look. So another spawner here. Uh, right, we can get through here. What's in here? So we've got some wither bones. We've got some. Oh my goodness! No, 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 no! Thank goodness, my spawn is set to outside. Come on, come on, come on, come on! My goodness, me! Oh wowzers! Okay, so there you go. I'm <laughs> sorry if my voice gets suddenly quieter because I move away from my uh, mic for whatever reason when I'm fighting mobs for whatever weird, weird reason. So let's take a more of a gun. Do you guys mind? Please, come on, for the love of goodness sake. Come on, there we go. So you can see how many mobs are spawning in here. And this is one of the most powerful weapons in the mod, guys. Honestly, you need to be so prepped. Oh, gosh, no. Oh, gosh, no. He's a big dude. He's a big dude. So that, you can already see how big that scuttler is. So let's collect all this stuff. Very, very useful stuff. So the, currently the scuttler is blocking the way. So let's hit him with some arrows. Boom, some powerful arrows. These are, I think, are these from the Starla Finds? Or these might be from the Sea Serpents, actually. Come on, come on, we got this. We got this, we got this, we got this. No, no, no. Nice one. All right, let's go around here. Let's go up to the next level. See what we've got up here. Flip and heck, the Dread Beasts are very strong, and I'm not a fan. Oh, well, I am a fan. They look awesome. 
Boom, Ice Dragon Heart. Very, very good drop. Very good indeed. Oh, Troll Tusk. Oh, wow, guys, this place is, like, it is loads and loads of stuff. I feel like I've missed some of the stuff downstairs as well. Um, but my, my, my word. Okay, let's get all this. Nice, nice, nice. Boom. Okay. Uh, can do it like this. Do it like this. Holy moly. Dude, I love the animation on these. They're just It's so good. The mod is just phenomenal. Honestly, how can you not love this mod? Is obviously, This is a very difficult place. and I You cannot do this place with diamond armor. Is what I'm going to say. You cannot do this place with diamond armor. You will perish. Like, I'm about to perish with my dragon steel armor on, guys. No, no, no. What? How many mobs came at me there? I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. I forgot to do keep inventory. Oh, no. So, you want to see how dark it is normally with these lights? Look how dim that is. Of course, I'm up here in creative at the moment. Don't worry. I'm going to change. I just want to show you what it's like. So, let's get a bit more night vision going up on in here. Right. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Boom, let's go for another eight minutes. This will be easy. Yeah, there we go. So we've already got a heck of a ton of dread beasts spawning up in here. Look at these guys. So we're going to go around here. I don't feel like I need to fight anymore. You guys have seen seen it now. So dread scuttler up in here. So go around here. It is such a maze, guys, honestly. So ice dragon blood. Yet yeah, again, the stuff in here, so good. It is honestly, it's, the, it's just ridiculously good. Okay, there we go, there's some manuscripts. We don't need that, throw that over there, throw that over there. Okay, and it is it's a maze. It is an utter maze. So you've got to go all around this place because at the bottom of said maze, we have, or hopefully, a dragon forge. So, wow, more stuff. So I'm just going to take everything and then we're going to see what stuff we have at the end, how much stuff we've gathered around this place. So we don't need that, don't need Oh, I just got rid of the bone blocks and the manuscripts. Oh, well, not super important. Look, flip, flip an egg, flip an egg. Honestly, honestly, ridiculous, utterly ridiculous. How much flipping, flip, flop, flip, flippity, flip, flip stuff there is here. Okay, let's uh, just mob upon mob upon mob. I can't even act. It. Guys, can we, can we get off, get off the chest, get, get off, get off the chest. Oh wow, more dragon, uh, ice dragon hearts guys, like through here is just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I can't wait to have this, I'm definitely going to have this in a modded survival series I'm going to do on the channel with the lads. Uh, I have mentioned it in a few of my videos that we're planning on doing this after season one of the Never Survival is finished. And then yeah, we're going to do a modded uh, survival series. Like, I can't, I can't even see, I can't even see right now. Like, how do you fight these? This is going to be ridiculous, I'm going to die so much. Honestly, you guys know what I'm like. I'm going to die a lot. Okay, let's grab some of this stuff. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You have to take out the flipping spawners. I'm not even sure you can in uh, survival. I'm not sure they're blocked off. So here is the forge. So this is the rarest thing from this. And it is very, very useful. Uh, I don't want to go over it now. But this is essentially going to be like the portal and everything area and the forge is used for other bits and pieces it uh, is we won't have time to go into that in depth into it today guys but if you do want that i will i will i'll do that for you guys it'd be my pleasure so yeah this place flipping crawling with these mobs ridiculous amazing stuff in here so let's just quickly look for it all so we've got the ice dragon heart we've got golden apple we've got sapphires we've got enough iron we've got a troll tusk which you can use for crafting other things uh, compressed ice if you're into that. Wither bones, uh, general bones, ash, uh, bone blocks, manuscripts, and yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. But these guys, these, 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 uh, these, very, very good drops, very good indeed. Ice dragon heart, my word, yes, <laughs> yes. But yeah, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed it today. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. And anyway, till next time, see ya.